Okay, I had a student wondering how to use a frequency function. So we have all these daily returns, and he wants to put each of these returns and count how many in each one of these are bins. So these are basically bins you're going to throw each one into. And the frequency function is a little bit weird because it's an array function. So the way you use it, uh, you highlight where you want your answer. So I want all my answers right here. I want to know how many are in each of these bins, how many percent returns occur in each one of these bins. And once you highlight it, you can immediately start typing your formula. So I'm going to go equals frequency. And it asks for the data array. So it's asking you where, where are you going to get your data from that you're going to add into these bins. And in this case, it's going to be from here. Oops. My mouse is acting a little bit weird. Sorry. From here. All the way down. Well, I'm going to use the shift and down. Ah. my Sorry, guys. My mouse is acting really funky today. It keeps losing. Uh, so it's going to be these returns. I'm going to use shift and down to go to the bottom. Shift and then end, E and D, and then the down arrow to get all those. I'm going to do a comma. And then the frequency function is asking. It's asking here and bold the bins array. Well, my bins are right here. And again, I'm going to go shift. Hold down the end key one, tap the end key down once and hit the down arrow once. And I'm going to close the parentheses. Now, here's where it's tricky. Since this is a ray function, um, I'm not going to hit enter. I'm going to hit control. I'm going to hold down control. And then I'm going to hold down shift. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then when you do that on a ray function, it puts these little brackets on the outside. Now you can't type those brackets. The only way you're going to get those brackets is by hitting Control Shift Enter. Okay, and then it goes ahead and throws them onto the bin. So here we can see a 27%. Um, so where is the 20? There's somewhere in here. Yeah, the 27%, right? And it basically throws. You can kind of look at how it throws the bins in, but basic throws it into the bins. But basically, you can see it's pretty much normally distributed around. 1% somewhere in this area, right? Yeah, you can almost turn this sideways and it looks like a normal distrib normal distribution. You have a few outliers like this 27% way down here. Um, now we could count these. If I do a sum here, how many observations did I get? 2,515. And if I count these, I can go equals. And we can count how many are here. Control or shift and down and we get 2515 so it did include all of the all of them into that into that so anyway um, that's all there is to that I don't want to go on too long about the video hopefully that helped bye